Lord's in awesome atmosphere at a sold-out Castle Coliseum for the four-seeded Virginia Tech Hokies at Capital One. These games in Regional Three in Portland. The winner of this game awaits Vanderbilt Baylor for a spot in the Sweet Six 21. Hokies in the home white. Marshall in green and black. To handle this pressure from Marshall. Marshall wants to press on makes and misses. This is a thundering herd team that sends pressure on makes or misses. Getting it inside. Are going to play very significant minutes for Marshall today. Down low. Strack. Claris. And often. Out to Amor. Georgia Amor. Amor slicing and dicing. Pull up. Pop. Got it. 0 for 6 now. Strack left alone. It's too easy for the this game. They're going to have to start making some threes. That is what they do. They lead the country in three-point attempts per game. And in order to his size, and it really feels like Virginia Tech's size advantage is showing out so far in this game. Amor a three. Two. Thing here in Castle Coliseum, tons of maroon. Virginia Tech has experience in the NCAA tournament. Marshall does not. Well, you mentioned that size advantage. Even without Kitley, Hokies have a couple of inches at every single position in this. And they come in winning 20 of their last 21, 10 in a row at Campbell. Shot clock down to seven. Brianna Campbell into traffic. Count it. Plus Kitley minutes. With the three-time All-American out for the rest of... Now for the fourth straight, go to NCAA.com. You're home for all 90 NCAA. The opening quarter. They've taken seven threes. Missed them all. Down the lane. Hayes, too strong. Smaller player to score. Great pass, Eck in the corner, got it! Team ninth, three scoreless games, that'll feel good. The crowd felt it for Matilda Eck when she knocked down the... Good look. Those are the ones you need. Amor, the floater. Count it! And dug out by Strack. Beeman never gave up on the play, and she's... And when you look at those two players, the main reason that they were playing D2 is skill. Well, Beeman was asked about the lack of size as Marshall keeps it alive. A deep three, banks in! Inbound to Brianna Campbell. Like Down the play. court in a hurry, scoop to the hoop! Clara Strack in her first career start continues with the size advantage. She'd have 40. We could be talking 40 or 50. Do more, and head coach Kenny Brooks told her, you just continue to be you. Do what has gotten us here and trust your teammates. King knocks them both down. And for your point, Jay, with Liz out, Kayla King has got to be aggressive, look for home shot, provide some offense. Mayor let Trailing by eight. Still struggling with the Hokies' size. Good feed, King. Got it! He's too strong again. Marshall really battling on this possession. They got enough. Better pass. Mishaw had decent enough position, but you got to lob it up for her more. That was kind of a rocket inside. Ariana Redmond. And Kenny Brooks, the first Virginia Tech coach to take a team to the NCES, TBS, TNT, and True TV. For more information, go to N Her teammate struggling with this injury, but she also understands it's time for her to step up. Misha muscling it home. Misha did not play in a game from January 28th to March 8th, but she stayed locked in. Just work, and it has worked really well for Marshall this season. They were down 15, and now they've cut it to ripped it away. That really is incredible when you look at the lack of size that Marshall has with 8 0 boards, but every time she's touched it, she's 5 for 5 from the floor. Nice 
this second half. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put her back in. There's no point in risking that third foul. And you have a lead. It might not be comfortable. All of them have been good lucks. Got to keep shooting. You're Karis Baker. She shoots 41% from three for a reason. How? And what a journey it's been for Marshall, first-year head coach. You know, in 2017, Caldwell was named head coach of the division career start in the first round of the NCAA tournament. She's been excellent. Back of three. Nothing but did that for a full 10 minutes. It has been a long time. Maybe it's never happened. Another big three. And that belief is paying off today. Pressure and chuck the three. It just didn't fall in that first half. Three of 19 from deep. Abby Beeman. Off. What does it say about the Hokies depth that no Kitley, no Amor for the second quarter, and they look comfortable as Eck. Not Over. Forget that slump. It's gone. Matilda Eck, three big threes today. And for Virginia Tech to advance to the sweep. And now with Georgia Amor on the court, the press break becomes even more comfortable. Eck, true. That's what... Kenny Brooks told us before the game, and she's four for five from beyond the arc today. Came into the tournament with three scores. Have that much of a size disadvantage. That one didn't fall for Eck. Offensive rebound. Amor a three. It's good. How good is Clara Strack bid in this first round matchup? Step back three. Beeman. No good. Strack shielding off for Wenzel. What? The and one. It was funny, Georgia Amor yesterday said, Carly Wenzel, such a sponge, she's constantly asking questions. For sure. Not necessary. No, thank you, Lee. To really think long and hard about putting Georgia Amor in for the rest of the game. You have such a commanding lead right now, and you just can't risk. She didn't play the entire second quarter. Now she doesn't play the final seven. All time, tear her ACL in a game that they didn't necessarily need to win, to win anything, to win the up 30 plus. I there's no way I'm putting George Amor back in this game. I've changed, I've changed not scored in the three games previous to this game. It was over 13 from the floor. Performances. So that just speaks to how good of a shooter she is. They were a little bit of a trendy upset pick if you look at brackets and things of that nature, but streak in Castle Coliseum. Right. I think that's the way you'd have to work it. Yeah, because they have won 25 straight, as you said, at Butha. They paid her. You mentioned that. Her number 33 will proudly hang. If her jersey will be retired, she is the greatest player to ever play at Virginia Tech. And she's done it the right way. One of the most. Dan, it would be a shell-shocking experience to play without Kitley and to not have much practice. Great board. Dame, that's 2.15 Eastern time on ESPN. They're taking on Kent State. Well, the lack and looked really good, and I think Notre Dame right now is one of the hottest teams in the between Kitley and Hannah. I don't know if you want to say that in Blacksburg. I'm always honest. She gives it away. More virtually everybody that plays is over six feet tall, and Marshall only has two six footers on their whole roster. So that size, you can tell when Marshall was so reliant on Kitley and Amor throughout the season. Besides Iowa, confidence booster for these other Pokies. Brain right. of losing Kitley. 100%. This place is packed out. Virginia Tech plays so well at home, they shoot it. And this result certainly doesn't detract from what's been a spectacular season for Marshall. Ooh. The Hokies just don't think we'll see a ton of her, but Georgia Amor back out there. And she's doing Georgia Amor. Where you're just seeing so many young players step up. They haven't really had opportunities this year. Virginia Tech plays a tighter rotation. In college football. He has a couple of streets named after him on, on this campus. Yeah, March Madness, where it is just wall-to-wall -wall basketball. Pandemonium. If anybody actually went to work today, I'm sorry. The, the second screen, the third screen, oh, yes. at times the fourth screen at the ready. Kayla King! Spot in the Sweet 16 on the line. Marshall just continues. And it just goes to show, Jay, how important getting that top four. Well, Kitley news until yesterday. If that news is announced before Selection Sunday, do you think they're a top four seed still? To 
we're going to open a can of worms and talk Florida State in the college football playoff. Oh, let's not playoff. go there. <laughs> but the regular season has to be done, has to matter, and we can't just speculate. I don't think anybody thought Virginia Tech would look this good today. No. But we don't know until a team. King. That was a heat check for her. Where you are. Scoring Marshall 25 to 9 off the bench. Amor, everything but the finish. And she knows she's got to be, you know, a little careful, don't do anything crazy. But he's letting her play. And with that made free throw, 90 points. Amor was only going to score nine. <laughs> I don't think I would have believed you. Well, this is a thundering herd program that will be back on this stage, and it won't take as long as it did this time. There's Marshall's fourth 21 season in their entire program history, and Kim Caldwell did that in year one. So this Marshall program. Well, this is a Baylor Bears program. Good. Keep that going against the Vanderbilt team that's already won one game in this tournament. Beat Columbia. In the Sweet 16 on the line, Virginia Tech now will await the winner of Baylor and Vanderbilt. Most wins in program history, a season that will be remembered fondly in West Virginia. But two are in place of Kitley. She really set the tone, and Virginia Tech has not taken their foot off. Now the sold-out crowd at Castle Coliseum, they have had plenty to shout about. Liz Kitley all smiles. Virginia Tech here today, and Liz Kitley proud of her squad. Virginia Tech faithful. Going to come back on Sunday. Right here at Castle Coliseum. For tickets and more information, visit Moving on to the second round on Sunday, they await the winner of Baylor and Vanderbilt. That game coming up 